I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, we're high school. I'm Janae Turner. And I'm Kayla Veligal. Here are your announcements for Thursday, April 11th, brought to you by We Are Student Media. Happy National Pet Day. For lunch, we are having rotini with meatballs, fresh romaine salad, fresh apple slices, and milk. Happy birthday to Omari West. First up, we have this week's Throwback Thursday with Lila and Jennifer. Who am I here with? Uh, Mr. Wright. I had to think about this for a while, but I believe it was Far Out, which is kind of like awesome today. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Who am I here with? Uh, Betty Smith Montgomery. And what was slang that you heard growing up? Okay, I had to think really hard on this one, <laughs> back to the 50s, but um, we used to call people beatniks who were into music and booze and drugs and things like that. Um, we used to call real big curves in a car when you're on a date, a COD curve, because it was collect on delivery, so you got a kiss. Mm -hmm. um, we called like um, making out in the backseat, backseat bingo, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, people that um, like try to steal your boyfriend or girl, girlfriend, we call them bird dogs. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Uh, oh, kids. If they were a little tiny kid, we call them ankle biters or curtain crawlers, climbers, if they were little because they would climb up the curtains, that kind of stuff. Okay, is that what you wanted? Yes, <laughs> thank you. Who am I here with? Mrs. Pellegrino. And what was some slang that you heard or said growing up? Okay, so I remember growing up that we used slangs that were made popular in movies, and some of them were like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, uh, Dumb and Dumber, Beavis and Butthead, Kid and Play, and a lot of the words we used were like valley girl talk, like, oh, that's so bodacious or grody or grody to the max, meaning it was like gross. And um, I don't know, what else do we use? Gag, gag me with a spoon, you know, just those kind of terms from, from the 80s. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed. In other news, one more reminder that the new digital hall pass is now up and running, and it needs to be posted in all classrooms. The old link will no longer work. Students must use the hall pass properly by signing out and back in each time you leave the room or you risk disciplinary action. Seniors, NTHS is selling yard signs for the class of 2024 to be displayed on Red Rider Road on May 28th and may be picked up after graduation on May 29th. To purchase a yard sign, pick up an order form in the cafeteria during lunches and turn them in by Friday, April 19th. See Ms. Palavas with questions. Seniors, the absolute last day to submit your portraits and baby photos for the senior video and yearbook is April 30th. No photos will be accepted after that date. Submission links have been shared with you via email during announcements for the last several months. Contact Ms. Bricker with questions. Students attending prom can pick their seats during their assigned lunch this week. Freshman youth leadership applications are due by April 29th. See Ms. Charlton for an application. Shrek the Musical is coming to Weir soon with performances on April 26th, 27th, and 28th in the Milton J. Weinberg Theater. Tickets are $13 for adults and $10 for students. Scan the QR code to buy your tickets before they sell out. Now for your sports info. Congratulations to the softball team for capturing the city championship Monday evening, beating Madonna 15-0. Good luck to the sports teams competing this evening. Baseball travels to East Liverpool with a 5 p.m. start. Softball plays away at Edison with also a 5 p.m. start. Girls tennis travels to Oakland with a 4 p.m. start. Finally, your fun fact of the day. 
To keep from drifting apart, sea otters hold hands while they sleep. That's it for today. Have, Have a, a thrilling, thrilling Thursday, Weir.